All right, everybody, I'm back. All right, let me know in chat if you can hear me. Let's see if we get the microphone still working. All right, okay, all right. So we're going to get started real soon. I believe the seed has been generated and sent off to our players. We're going to get started momentarily. Um, uh, the first one was absolutely brutal. Uh, Derek Sue ran um, really a phenomenal race. He didn't make any big mistakes. Uh, his routing was fine. His movement was good. Um, uh, the catches, Sloters just made the play between picking up all those E-Tanks and then doing the Suitless Norfair and finding Gravity uh, at the... Uh, where was Gravity again? Uh, I believe it was at the X-Ray location, which nobody usually checks. Uh, that really gave Sloters a big advantage. And when you let a runner of Sloters' his category, uh, of his caliber you know, when you give him a lead, he doesn't he doesn't give up a lead very easily. So the question here is what is Dirk Sue's plan for this? He definitely has to do better in his routing, uh, to make up for the fact that, that Sloters has such such precision execution. So, uh, but you, you always risk doing too much, you know, because again, Sloters actually took some chances and did lots of checks there. And had they not paid off in that last race, it really could have, uh, it really could have gone in Dirk Sue's uh, favor. So I'm, I'm not sure if he really should change his strategy too much. And these are these kind of metagame questions, especially when you've got a heads up race. Again, Sloters is not too likely to make a mistake, but um, he definitely could waste some time. It looked like he was being ultra thorough early, checking absolutely every item and skipping nothing until he got, uh, uh, yeah, those, Sloters had beautiful damage boosts. Uh, the D-boosts were beautiful. Everything was beautiful. And his, his Dragon fight was, was definitely a thing of beauty. He damaged himself a couple of times just to show off. Then he got the, the blue suit, or he got the spike suit, and then he messed it up. Yeah, I don't know if he messed it up on purpose. Actually, I think he did mess it up on... Well, it's hard to say. But Dirk Sue is not out of this. Um, Sloters, again, he could get cocky. He could get just a little bit too cocky. And, and we definitely saw a little bit of that cockiness in the first race. Because... He was, uh, he definitely did some stuff that he didn't need to. So around here. Uh, he didn't mess up the spike suit. Uh, did he get the, the other spark? I, I thought he lost the spark there. Um, and, and again, I might be wrong. You know, again, this is... This is tech that I, I have not learned and I have never gotten myself, so I don't really know. So he didn't he didn't mess up the spike suit is what I'm being told here. And that may very well be the case. Now. Mm, okay, so that reverse spark was that. Okay, all right, yeah, I do remember. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm getting, yeah, because I do. He did get the, like, the reverse halfy or the reverse full halfy, <laughs> the half full reverse, yeah. All right, again, we got J. Chuck in the SRL chat doing something funny. And, okay, we're about 10 seconds away from starting, uh, although I don't see the runners on screen. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. I think we're going to start with just a few seconds. SRL, uh, uh, SRL has gone off, so the stream is always a few seconds behind. And are we on our way? Are we on our way? 
Come on, guys. The anticipation is killing us. It's just killing us. Uh, yeah, Ghost Wizard. The first race was a four-way. Um, the other two racers are going to race at some other time. Uh, these two, however, are going to have game two. And I'm not sure, should Derek Sue win, uh, we may have a game three after, but I'm not sure about that. This is good. At least our runners, they're only about one second apart on their clocks. So we should have a pretty good idea of who's actually where. Now, both of these guys have excellent strats. I suspect both of them are going to moonfall. Oh, no. Derek Sue kind of messed up the moonfall a little bit there. So, um, you know, that'll, that'll give, give Sloters a slight edge, but it's hard to say. This, this early part, again, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you just got to get down as fast as you can. But again, if you're Dirk Su, you know the kind of execution that you're up against. Um, and hopefully that doesn't put too much pressure on you. So right off the bat, now we've got Ice Beam. Now this is interesting as the first item. Because in our last race, or not our last race, a race that we had yesterday, the players got Ice Beam as their first item. And then uh, one of the players uh, turned off the Ice Beam when he went to kill the pirates uh, on his way out of here, and then never turned it back on and forgot he had Ice Beam for the rest of the match. Now, I seriously doubt that's gonna happen with these two, but it is possible. Uh, okay, so we've got Wave Beam. Mm, that'll be kind of nice. And there we go, so Derek Su did turn off his ice beam so again he did turn it off we'll see if he remembers that or not and the reason you do that is the pirates on your way back up to old mother brain you know they take two shots with ice beam they take one shot with a normal beam so you just do it to save a little bit of time um, and also the pirates on your climb however you should probably turn the ice beam back on almost immediately after you make it back up through the end of uh, old mother brain uh, a free seed. I would not call this a free seed quite yet, Ghost Wizard, because all sorts of crazy stuff can happen. We don't know where our suits are. Now, both of these runners are definitely capable of doing this suitless. We saw Sloters do a beautiful suitless Norfair. Definitely both of these guys know how to do suitless Meridia. Uh, but, mm, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, we've only got Super so far. Which means, again, we've got to go up and visit uh, good old Bomb Teresa. And you notice Sloters, although he got uh, through a little faster, because he has Ice Beam, that makes it... You have to use two shots to kill these pirates. Um, so actually, Derek Su caught up a little bit on the climb here. Um, he's still a little bit behind, but again, being a little bit behind now doesn't make any difference. What's going to make a bigger difference is how they decide to route this. Um, if this were just a straight race, um, yeah, Sloters would have a bigger advantage, but just one wrong routing decision and Derek Su really can take a lead. So Sloters is in uh, to bomb Teresa already and he's got hamburgers. Mmm, hamburgers. Okay, all right, I gotta stop thinking about hamburgers, get back on the race, okay. Now I'm thinking about hamburgers. Juicy, delicious hamburgers. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Alcatraz, beautiful for Sloters. Again, he makes that look so easy. For those of you who haven't tried it, that Alcatraz escape is not easy. Um, it's not remotely easy. Once you get the hang of it, uh, you kind of know where to jump. It, it's certainly not that difficult, but just getting it the first try every time is not not the easiest thing in the world. We've got super missiles at uh, 320, 230, 230. The 230 missiles. I'll, I'll learn that eventually. Eventually I'll figure that out. And Derek Sue is following suit exactly. Uh, meanwhile, Sloters is going to go up and we're going to see what's at the end of Terminator. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, you know, again, early on, there, there probably will not be any route divergence. Really, even through Pink Brinstar. Okay, Speed Booster. Ooh. So that opens up uh, the item that's below Charge Beam, 
uh, and among other things. That's going to make things kind of interesting. And that means for our runners, a lot of things are possible. Wreck ship is not possible with that speed booster, although I don't know if that actually puts wreck ship in logic. We've got an E-tank and a missile at the end of Gauntlet. Now, if Derek Su chooses not to check the back of Gauntlet here, he will save some time. He's going to check the back of Gauntlet, which is almost definitely the right play. Now Sloters is through, he's going to go down to Green Brinstar. And Green Brinstar has some of the coolest music in the game. Whenever you play this for the first time, or if you haven't played it in a while, once you get to Green Brinstar, you know from the music that you're in for some trouble. And Sloters is going to check the mock ball room, as I like to call it. And down below are some power bombs. And with a speed booster, uh, he didn't even use a mock ball, he used speed booster strats. That's kind of swaggy. And an E-tank. Hmm. Well, this is our first E-tank. Last race, we just had E-tanks galore. And they might actually be a little harder to get here. Okay, and behind this, we've got hamburgers and power bombs and normal missiles. Mm hmm and it looks like Dark Sue is kind of caught up a little bit, but he has not checked the item up above yet. So that's it's kind of it's kind of dis, he doesn't he doesn't. Sloters has got about a 20 second, 15 second lead so far. But again, none of that matters. What matters is the first routing decisions after they get through here. Now that was pretty slick. Sloters picks up the the hamburgers down here. And he's going to head out of this room. Let's see. He heads out of this room at 6.45. And Dark Sue is going to leave the same room at 6.55. Uh, so Dark Sue's about 10 seconds behind, which is pretty good. And there are very few runners who can keep up with Sloters' as movement. He goes through the Edekun's room. Uh, just a missile on the other side, and an E-Tank. Sloters just picks up every E-Tank, where Derek Sue has been skipping E-Tanks. see if he does the same thing here. Well, he's going to get this one, because he's only got one. And we've got the missiles. We're going to head down this pit, which everyone knows this pit's here. If you played the first Metroid, and you saw that item just sitting out there, you know there's some hole on the floor there. And it's no different in this version. That's where you kind of learn to wall jump for the first time, but ooh, Sloters actually messed up the wall jump just a little bit. Even he messes things up now and again. Meanwhile, Derek Sue is having a little bit of trouble getting past uh, some spikes. And Sloters is on his way out. Derek Sue is going to go up and he's going to get his item. Ooh, he also made a mistake. Again, that's not super costly, but that was a place where he could have caught up some time. Uh, okay, and we're through to Prink Brinstar, and it's easy to get through there with Speed Booster in particular. Alright, so I suspect he's going to go down and check. Uh, so here we've got the... Ooh, buddy, we've got Screw Attack. Ooh, that is a nice quality of life item. And behind Screw Attack, we've got... Eh, just some missiles. Nothing too special there. His screw attack, he picks it up and then he'll get his missiles and come back out. Now I suspect Sloters is going to go... Uh, well, no, and again, you can kind of route this a couple of different ways. You could go up or you could go down on here. Uh, he's going to go back up and get the wave gate. Again, we know it's in logic because we got wave gate. But these runners, just being in logic, that means nothing. Uh, you can super missile that gate uh, with the right kind of shot, although, again, it's not super easy. And we just have missiles behind the wave gate there. Uh, Derek Su, meanwhile, will follow suit. He's going to do exactly the same thing. So far, our runners have done exactly the same route. No divergence. Sloters is going to go down and check the charge beam location and the backside of Spore Spawn on his way down. 
Okay, so here he's gonna do spore spawn, and then you gotta jump and shoot the missile just right. It's definitely not easy. And what did spore spawn have for us? Spore spawn has something good. Nope, just missiles. And Derek Sue, I think, made up a little bit of time. Oh, no, but he missed the missile shot. Okay. So, again, every time Derek Sue looks like he's making up a little time, he kind of messes up in the same place that Sloter's messed up. But right now he's on his third or fourth missile shot. And I think he got it there. Yeah, he did. Okay. We just have power bombs above charge beam. And we should be able to check charge beam and check the item below charge beam since we have speed booster. Hamburgers at charge. And what is underneath here? Again, I seriously doubt we're going to see any route divergence from these guys until, really until we hit Red Tower. That's going to be the first real opportunity for it. So here, this water is rather annoying without gravity, but you can get your speed up up top and then drop down. Uh, very nice shine spark from Sloters. And what is our item? Ooh, it is definitely worthwhile. We've got Plasma Beam. So we've got Plasma, we've got Ice, and I believe we've got Wave on, on both guys. Um, now I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing Wave on the tracker, but chat let me know if, if both, if both, uh, if both guys have Wave. I, I believe they do. I can see Derek's who definitely does. Yeah, okay, so I, I I believe both of them do have weight. Okay. So now Derek's who also is going to do the same thing. Uh, but he doesn't quite get that shine spark. Quite right. Oh, and he's 0 for 2. Okay. Count is 0 and 2. And Nope, 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 he strikes out. That's three fails in a row for Derek Sue. But he wants to get this item because it is plasma. Meanwhile, we're back to Blue Brent Star from Sloters. And we got a missile pack uh, behind the starting spot. And he's probably going to head on over to Billy Mays. Now, the Billy Mays room, uh, this is, again, this is something a lot of runners skip. But Sloters has been very methodical in the way that he approaches things. He knows he has a movement advantage. And when you know you have a movement advantage, it probably behooves you to, to be methodical. You might as well check everything since you can do so probably more efficiently than your opponent. And it's not like Derek Sue is not efficient. He is moving quite well. And we have high jump boots and Billy Mays. Billy Mays finally pays off. So we've got high jump boots, we've got screw attack, uh, we've got speed booster, plasma, wave, ice. Starting to get interesting, but we have no suits. With no suits, mm, that makes it kind of, you know, kind of iffy where to go here. I suspect uh, we're going to see, um, we're gonna see the same routes here. I, I'm guessing we're going to go visit Crade, we'll get all the Crade items, and then most likely, um, well, it's, it's hard to say. At that point again, you could go to Wreck Ship, or you could go down and do Bubble Mountain and maybe Krakenmeyer. Um, it just depends on what you find and where. But I suspect Sloters will follow the same route that he went before, which means he will try to check x-ray and again Derek Sue mm, messes up the shark the, sh the shine spark I think he's kind of feeling pressure I, I, I think he knows that he's got to be really precise to beat Sloters and that that's kind of kind of putting the kibosh on him a little bit uh, meanwhile Sloters is going to head on over to Red Tower and we'll see which way he decides to go I, I suspect we're going to see Craig uh I suspect we're going to see Kraid followed by Bubble Mountain. That's that's what I think. But, you know, again, it might be wrong. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Alright, so now we're headed down. I love this red part. And again, X-ray. You know, we knew Slugger's was gonna check X-ray. He did it last time. I just Slaughter's just really makes good use of of everything that he's got, and here he uses this crystal flash. I don't even think I would have thought about using the crystal flash here, and yet he does it. So he's gonna go through here. He's gonna do some debuffs. Now, last time he came through here, he had like 15 energy tanks. Now he doesn't. So he might be killing these guys just to get more power bombs to maybe do another Crystal Flash. Because when you kill these Fire Fleas, they, I believe they always drop a power bomb, or they almost always drop a power bomb. So, okay. He gets D-boost. That's nice. You just don't want the spikes to hit you. The spikes do a lot of damage. The enemies really don't. Nope, he messed up that D-boost, but he didn't mess up that one. So again, Slaughter's hasn't been perfect, but, you know, you don't need to be perfect. But, uh, missiles down there. And Derek Sue and uh, Criteria. Oh, now. Now we've got something interesting. Derek Sue picked up the charge beam. And if I remember correctly, Slaughter's never checked this location last time. This might be one that he opts to skip. And should he opt to skip this, this might be exactly what Derek Sue needs to actually make this a, a competitive run. Uh, the question is, where does he go from here? He might go up and try Gauntlet. I, I kind of suspect that's what he's going to do, is maybe save at the ship, check the Gauntlet location, and then do wrecked ship. Uh, meanwhile, Sloters is going over. Uh, I suspect he's going to visit Crate after he does these checks over here. Derek Sue saves. So I would suspect what we're going to see from Derek Sue is he's going to go and check Gauntlet. When he gets to the back of Gauntlet, we, you know, we know the two items behind that. But when he gets to the one item that we don't know in the back of Gauntlet, if it's nothing too handy, he'll save it. No, he's going to—he's just going to head on over to the items closer to Rex Ship. And, and well, and again, if if this item is absolutely nothing, he could reset out of this room too bombs he doesn't want them but he's not resetting out he's just gonna leave so meanwhile Sloters is doing pretty much what I thought he's gonna go crade and Derek Sue is gonna check all the items outside of wreck ship and he's trying to do the short spark here okay he's gonna go over and hit gauntlet from here but this is a hard shine spark to get. He made it look easy. Okay, so that goes all the way to Gauntlet. Okay, that was pretty. All right, so. No, he doesn't have a lot of energy. Oh, mm -hmm. all right, but with Screw Attack, these rooms are pretty easy. I was just about to say the rooms are easy, and then he gets cracked. Really, and he does not have any uh, backup tanks. So he's got to be a little bit careful, but he's through the hardest room and just super, so he can reset. He made those two checks. There's nothing in either of those two checks. And Sloters is on to Cray. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see Sloters just jump out there. It's like, yeah, I'm going to take the damage and just de-boost back. Yeah. He's putting on a show. Mm -hmm. Sue is going to go wreck ship, so I like this. I like this divergence. Of course, Sloters gets the quick kill. I mean, was there any doubt? I had none. And behind, eh, it's just a missile. No, no vanilla Varia suit. Ooh, look at that. That was pretty. Derek Sue showing off some moves of his own right there. Now, again, uh, I think we're just going to shine spark across this. Nice and easy. He's got plenty of energy for that. So, if we have one or both of these suits here in Wreck Ship, we may have ourselves uh, game three. Now, I'm not sure in logic if Wreck Ship is in logic now or not. I believe the speed booster puts it in logic. Uh, but yep, yeah, and there's Varia. There is Varia. Man. Uh, and we can see this even with, okay, we've got Space Jump, though. Uh, in the Kraid E-Tank room. 
So that uh, that is definitely something the Sloters has that Derexu might not get for a while. But, okay, so Rec Shift is in Logic. Yeah, I believe that Speed Booster puts it in Logic. I believe either Speed Booster or Space Jump or Grapple will put it in a Logic. Meanwhile, Sloters is going to head down. I suspect he's going to check Bubble Mountain and maybe even Krakenmeyer. Um, But, again, now we've got one of the suits. If that other suit is in Rex Ship, oh, buddy, even with Sloters' skill, I, I'm not sure he's going to be able to catch up. Yeah, I'll just see another suitless Norfell. Yeah, Sloters. I don't need no sink in suits. Um, but doing Norfair with, you know, well, last time Sloters had just, just a ton of E-Tanks. E-Tanks have been hiding in this race so far. So I, I don't know what the minimums are. I, I believe the Hell Runs up above M Bubble Mountain require maybe like four E-Tanks to do lower Norfair. I want to say you need at least eight or nine. You know, again, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure what the minimums are. You know, obviously, the more, the better. And Fantoon is down. That was a pretty clean Fantoon fight. And what are we going to see down here after we kill Fantoon? And Wreckship always gets nicer after you kill Fantoon. Somehow he was like stealing all the electricity there. Okay, Sloters, check that room. Nothing there. Has to farm up a little energy before he goes anywhere else. But again, he's really a master of these heated rooms. He doesn't really need to worry. We're gonna check these items. We might get a bowling check. So, uh, we can we can really clear all of Wreckship when we've got speed boost. So we're gonna go over here and check behind these robots. These, these robots, somebody need to give these robots arms. Okay, Dirksu almost said no to the E tank, and then yeah, no, he's gonna get it. He's definitely gonna get it. You you need that E tank. God knows I need that E tank, man. So, meanwhile, Sloter's doing a lot of checks. Uh, we're gonna check the high jump location which is always good there's three items back here you always want to check this uh -huh. and we've got a garbage tank up there and the actual item for the high jump boot location is more supers well Sloters hasn't found the charge beam yet and he might not find the charge beam so he definitely wants as many supers as he can get we're on to spiky room death uh-huh, and uh, we ain't scared of no spike. Not with uh, various suit. Yeah, that definitely makes these spikes a lot, a lot less scary. And he just de-boosts through it, because that's how much he's not scared of those spikes. And back here, these checks and wreck ship take quite a bit of time, but you might as well do it. He already found Varia with this play. It's a rather difficult jump, and he messed it up, but he saw the item. And I believe he's going to have more than enough energy to get out of here. Yep. And this big fish tank here. I don't know what this room is called. The aquarium. Again, in chat, let me know what the name of that room is that Dirk so just left out of. I try to learn all these names, but man. <laughs> Speedrunners of this game, they just have a name for everything. And they're all kind of fun. Uh, it's science. Yeah, <laughs> go submit EMP. It's science. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know, I can't argue with science. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Sloters did get an E-Tank. He's checking Bubble Mountain. He's got the screw attack and the high jump beam. All these are pretty easy. We got the garbage tank. He avoids that. He's already got one emergency tank, so he doesn't need that. And over here, yeah, missiles... And the item below the missiles is going to be... Yeah, more missiles, but he needs them. Okay, so... These things in the attic of Rex ship. And this, uh, it's kind of slow. Dirksu did not have the most efficient attic. But, you know, again, if we've got... If, we, if he finds gravity either here or right outside of Rex ship, he's way in the lead in my opinion even with Sloters' great movement and ability to do suitless so again now we're going to go up to Bubble Mountain he's going to have to farm a little bit right here to just get some energy back 
nervous as, as all get up when I do it, but Sloter's, uh, he's just, he's just having a sandwich, just sitting there. And, okay, so, Attic had nothing, uh, yeah, Aquarium. Uh, I think Aquarium is what I've heard that room called. So, down here, uh, we, we want to check the item in the sky. Item in the sky. Oh, it is! It's gravity! It's gravity, it's gravity, it's gravity, it's gravity. Okay, all right. Now we have ourselves a race. Okay, he's got gravity. He's got Varia. He's gotta think this is his opportunity. And meanwhile, Sloters is just just dicking around doing nothing down, up, down in Bubble Mountain. And we know there's nothing to find in, in Bubble Mountain. Really, okay, we got high jump boots. We got gravity, we got Varia, we got charge. I'm calling, Dirk Sue is in go mode. Uh, that is absolutely the case. Now the question is, where is Sloters going to go from here? If Sloters goes to wreck ship, he'll get these items pretty quickly. So Dirk Sue has got to make his move. Uh, the one thing that Dirk Sue's got going for him that Sloters may probably never get is that charge beam. Uh, but uh, Sloters definitely does not have the the life to do Suitless Meridia, or, or pardon me, Suitless Norfair. But mm, yeah, Slo you never know what Sloters is going to do. You know, again, he might be feeling awfully confident. He won the last race by more than ten minutes, and if he feels awfully confident, he may do something that's awfully, uh, awfully, you know, strange for him. I think there's a chance that Sloters might go Suitless Meridia here, and again, like Suitless Meridia is definitely quite a bit slower than with the suits, obviously. Even with a runner of Sloters' caliber, like Derek Sue's gonna go through there so fast. So, Derek Sue gets his energy, I like that. I think that's a great move right there. Up your energy, he knows he's, he's probably winning. He's gonna head on over and visit Kraid too. Um, and the question is really how many items does he need to search? I, I kind of feel like he is in go mode. He's got four energy tanks. He's got 25 supers, 20 hamburgers, 20 regular missiles. Uh, he's got both suits. Uh, charge, ice, wave, plasma, like mm, screw attack even. Because so lower north is going to be a breeze. I, I think... The only way that Derek Sue really loses this is if he makes too many checks, or obviously if he makes a mistake. But right now, I say, yeah, he didn't check the item there. I, I think he knows he's in go mode. And I think chat might be right. Uh, no, okay, Sloters is not gonna Suitless Meridia. Okay, I saw him breaking the glass there. I thought maybe, maybe he's gonna go Suitless Meridia, but no. I suspect he's gonna head on up to Rex ship, which means that Mm, Derek Sue's lead is um, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to milk it and again his main advantage is going to be having that charge beam because I have a feeling Sloters is not going to get the charge beam okay uh, and the quick kill boom okay Derek Sue got the quick kill and he's not even gonna bother looking there I I love what Derek Sue is doing he is just go moding it we do not need any more items. We just need to finish the game. And at this point, to finish the game, we need to kill Ridley, and we need to kill Drake. And those two are not that hard to get to. So now uh, the question is, which first? Um, is it better to go down to Lower Norfair first, or is it better to go to Meridia first? first i you know, again let me know in chat you guys are a lot of you are better runners than i am uh if it's better to go meridian now i think i'd probably go meridian now but nope of course whatever i'm gonna do <laughs> the runners are gonna do the opposite and that's the better play so okay everybody in chat said lower norfair okay uh, so i believe everybody in chat and Derek said that lower norfair is the better play okay um okay well well dark crate says uh, it uh, it depends uh uh, now, I'm, you know, again, I'm the commentator. I'm not supposed to root for anybody, but I'm just, I've got a little secret. Okay, nobody tell anybody. I'm rooting for Derek Sue here. And the only reason I'm, I'm rooting for Derek Sue is I, I really want that game three. That means we get to watch Sloters some more. And 
And again, this is really showing us that even if you're up against a runner who's world class, I mean, how many better rando runners are there than Sloters? You know, maybe none. You know, you still have a shot you know, in rando because it's the nature of rando. Now, you know, Derek Sue is also uh, super high level, so making a lot of mistakes. But mm, the question is, is whether or not that charge beam makes a big difference. Now, Sloters has a million supers and a million missiles, so Sloters really doesn't need the charge beam. However, Sloters will lose a little bit of time by not having the charge beam. Oh, and Dirk Sue messes that up. Okay. But this is not super tough. He's got gravity. He can do a gravity jump. Yep, no, no. and uh, Dirk Sue messes that up again, and now this is just time that Sloters is catching up. Okay, and get that. Okay, we are through. Okay, we are into Lower Norfair. Dirk Sue lost a little bit of time there, but, I mean, it's not going to kill him, but Sloters is not going to have the same problem in the same spot. Every little mistake right now is Sloters catching up just a little bit. Okay, uh, J Chuck, yeah, has has Sloters ever even lost a round? Um, I'm sure he's lost games. Uh, I'm not sure if he's lost a, a round against anybody. But, uh, so, you know, again, Derek has made the right decision. He's uh, checking items, he's just going straight for bosses. Um, I would say both our runners are definitely going to sub our this. Um, Again, I, I believe as we go farther along, Sloters is going to catch up because he's going to check the sky item. There's no way he doesn't. And once he does, he's going to know. Well, he he's going to suspect that that Derek Sue might have gone to wreck ship earlier than he did. Uh, you know, again, I don't know if he scouted Derek Sue or if he's watched the way he ran. And I'm not sure if Derek Sue did the same thing in, in game one or not, but. Again, to some degree, you can't really worry about what your opponent does. You just have to finish the game as quick as you can. And again, Dirksen makes a couple of little mistakes here. Now, none of these are really costing him a lot of time, but again, I'm pretty sure when Sloters goes through that room, he won't make the same mistake. So, it's just a matter of how fast can Sloters catch up. I kind of suspect this is going to be unbelievably close. Um maybe coming down to Turian um, because, well, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know. I, I, your chat, let me know. Uh, chat, do, do you think that Dirksu has a lead? And if so, how big do you think his lead is? Um, because, again, I'm just taking into account Sloters' movement, huge. Uh, uh, yeah... Yeah, Sloters is far behind, but every part of the game from here on out, Sloters is going to do fast. Uh, especially once he finds that gravity. Um, but Dirksu doesn't usually make mistakes. So I'm going to say, I'm going to predict right now that Dirksu wins this, but it's going to be closer than we think. I'm going to predict at this point that Dirksu wins this by like three minutes. Um, even though right now I would say Dirksu is more like, maybe like ten minutes behind. But just with every room, you know, again, if, especially if Sloters has perfect execution, he makes up a little bit of time. Now, right now, we've got some farming going on by Dirk Su. Um, I'm not sure what he wants. I suspect he wants enough to do at least one Crystal Flash. So he's going to want at least 10 missiles. Um, now, he's only got eight missiles. No, he's going to go in there with only eight missiles. So he was farming for. But he's got charge and plasma uh, and ice and waves. So his beam is doing a ton of damage. Um, and he takes a hit right off the bat. Um, but with the, with the high jump boots, it's a much easier to manipulate Ridley here. Uh, you want to keep him away from those pogo patterns. Most of those don't really help you. Although when he does pogo facing, when he's facing to the left, you can get some shots. Okay. So here you want this pattern if he keeps doing it. We're looking pretty good here. And I'm surprised he hasn't tried any supers. 
Again, Ridley is uh, susceptible to super missiles. I believe they do double damage, although his beam combo will definitely do more damage than those supers. And that was a clean Ridley fight. Even Sloters is not going to be able to do one much faster than that. We got all these items here, and again, we don't need to check the item. Okay. And Dirksu is out. Now. Yeah. Sloters has still got to do the attic. He still has not found his... Uh... Okay, so Sloters is out of the attic. Let's see if he checks Sky. I mean, I, I can't imagine that he wouldn't check Sky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he just said, <laughs> did you see that up and down pumping motion there from Sloters? He's like, oh, yeah. Or he's saying, oh, crap, because uh, it's just whether or not Dirks who went wreck ship first. Again, wreck ship is that gamble. And this is why Rando is so great. This is why I love Rando. Yeah. Um, it, it just really, it really gives anybody a chance. Dirksu's got to make his escape out of Norfair. He cannot afford a mistake. And there are a couple places here where you can wipe. These key hunters that he's coming up on do a ton of damage. Now, a screw attack, they're not particularly scary. Um, but mm, I've seen players mess up and just a couple of hits from these key hunters. And that can be all she wrote. Okay, we're through the escape. We got these boulders here. Again, a couple of really small, 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 tiny mistakes from Dirksu, but again, I don't, I don't think that's going to be enough to sink him. At this point, I think the only way Dirksu uh, doesn't win this is if he wipes. Anything short of a wipe, and he should be fine. Okay, again, these key hunters can be trouble, but if you get the screw attack killed, then they're no problem at all. We've only got Meridia left to do, and we've got, you know, we've got the speed booster, we've got the suits, we've got the energy, yeah, we've got the tools, we've got the talent. Aha! Okay, so in chat, what film did I just quote? We've got the tools, we've got the talent. Massive props to whoever can come that. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if he saved or not, uh, Ghost Wizard. No, nope, it's not Mighty Ducks, although maybe they repeated it in Mighty Ducks. The film that I'm guessing uh, that that's from is from 1984, when this commentator was in kindergarten. No, it was not Cool Runnings, although that's not a bad guess. Again, I've given you the year. It's 1984. I saw it when I was in kindergarten. And even if I see it to now, now it's still a good movie. Ghostbusters, there we go. Somebody got it. Yep, the original Ghostbusters. Okay. And Dirk Sue is headed up, and we are into Meridia. And was, we got the tools, we got the talent. Um, uh, we, uh, this is at the very end of the movie. Uh, they shoot Gozer, and she disappears, and they think that they killed her, but it, it turns out that they didn't. Mm -hmm. Again, I like to quote Ghostbusters. It's a fun film. Yeah, uh, even with Super Sloters here going uh, berserk mode on this, uh, he's behind. Uh, Dirksu might be on pace to, to break the record for the tournament. So again, anybody here who knows what, what the tournament uh, best time is, I'm not sure what it was or who it was set by. It was probably set by Sloters, but... Um, not on pace to break the record, but on pace for a PB. Uh, <laughs> he can't break it. Uh, 45-32. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's not beating that. Okay, all right. But I, I think it can be sub-50, definitely. Again, if he doesn't mess up. And he can mess up a little bit. And we got a nice shine spark from Sloters. And this is the first time in a while where I have not been glued to Sloters' screen, but rather it's been Dirksu who has been showing us all how it's done. And he's got to be thinking, uh, 
you know, again, I never know what a what a runner thinks. Hopefully, we can get these guys in for an interview for this one. I think they didn't want to do an interview last time because we had those other races at the same time. But I want to know if Dirk Su, at this point in the race, thinks he's ahead or behind. Because again, if if you know that Sloters took the same route as you, then you, you're probably behind, or at least you're not you're not very far ahead. Okay, let's see if we can get the full halfy. No, 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 no. That was not it. And right here. Uh, but we got space jump, don't we? No, he doesn't have space jump. Okay. It's Sloters that has space jump. Yeah, okay. But still, he's got no problem getting through here. That was pretty fast. Nice D boost. And yeah, that's no problem. And we are on to Dragon already. Uh, yeah, Sloters, even in beast mode, I, I have a feeling we are in for a game three. And boy, do I love game threes. And how is he going to kill this beast? He doesn't have grapple. He doesn't have the microwave. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Charge beam. Uh, we got some supers, but he probably doesn't want to use those. So now he's going to go with the Shine Spark kill. Um, again, I have I have all sorts of trouble with this, but... Now, I don't know if that one hit. I know that last one went straight up. I, I think that missed. Uh -huh. and he's getting... We got a nice slow pattern, and he's almost dead. Come on, go shoot him, go shoot him, go shoot him. Get some missiles in there. All right, did that, did that finish him off? Finish her off? No? All right, there we go. That was still a pretty nice kill. Get the spike suit here. Uh-huh. Got the blue. got the blue suit. Yeah, because he's magic. That's how he got it. Okay. So we are off to Turia. So... Gloater's definitely rushing, but there's nothing much he can do. He still has to do Meridia. Now, Meridia's pretty fast, but... And I'm, I'm not sure there are any more places where Dirksu has an issue. Really, the only issue would be Mother Brain 2, again, if we've got some issues with ketchup. Ketchup is going to be the only way that Slaughters can catch up. Uh, Alright, I'm not much of a pun guy, but I made you guys suffer for that one. Alright, Dirksu, meanwhile, is escaping from Meridia. He should be able to do this rather quickly. Versus just man moding it through lower Norfair out the escape. Mm, I, I don't know if he thinks he's ahead or he's behind. Um, he's 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 gotta know that if if Dirksu went wreck ship before him, he's he's in trouble. Um, especially with a stack ship like that. Puns all month. Okay, all right. Well, J Chalk is just being nice to me because <laughs> he needed me to do commentary for this, but I appreciate it nonetheless, even if you are just being nice. Uh, meanwhile, Sloters is getting through his escape and he is out. Nice shine spark there. Now for Dirk Su, he is up and out and he is almost out of Meridia. Meanwhile, Sloters is almost to Meridia. Uh, so, uh, Sloters is definitely caught up a little bit, but yeah, definitely not enough. Uh, fish moly. <laughs> uh, so, headed up the elevator. Uh, we should be out, and the question is, will Dirksu save? Um, will he save at the ship? Will he refill at the ship? Will he save right before Mother Brain? Those are the, the two main options here. Now, I think, uh, well, you know, again, I don't know what he thinks. Okay, so we're not stopping at the ship, that's for sure. Vessels, 18 supers, 
10 hamburgers. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I seriously doubt he, you know, he needs any more than that. But he definitely, definitely, definitely should say it before Mother Brain. Because again, I think he's in that range where one bad catch-up shot will end him. And he's definitely far enough ahead where he could take a wipe on Mother Brain and still win. Now, if he were to take more than one wipe on Mother Brain, then definitely slow his catches up, I think. But, and we've got Dirksu enters Turian at 4440. That's pretty darn good. We're going to see. Yeah, and again, Dirksu might think he's behind. And if he thinks he's behind and he just goes to Mother Brain without saving, but boy, that's just so risky. We'll see. We'll see. And, you know, again, Dirksu is a great runner. You know, these guys really don't die on Mother Brain that often. He really was not too efficient with killing those Metroids, but he doesn't need to be. Here, this is maybe the most difficult of the Metroid rooms. And it'll look pretty easy. This last Metroid room is pretty easy. You can just roll around and then get them all bunched up down at the bottom. Okay, yep, he gets them bunched up. Okay. He's at point. Yeah, he's almost great match. And we're through to the baby area. He does have high jump, so is he going to Yeah. <laughs> Slaughters is so good he has a refill named it. Okay, so are we getting baby? Oh, that means I'm thinking he's not going to say Nice job with these little hops. Oh, yeah, no, he took a little bit of a hit there. That's no good now.
stand up. Hmm? No? I have... Nope. Okay. Alright. And... Oh, no! The baby's dead! Oh, oh, it's so sad. So very sad. And now we're gonna make Mother Brain pay. We're gonna make her pay for that. You will pay for killing the baby. And again, I haven't seen too many runners mess this up. We'll see if Dirk Sue even loses any life in this fight. Nah, he did it without taking. Nah, he took a little damage. This loaders is heading to Turian. Again, he's he probably knows he's behind, but leave Dirk Sue. Uh, do we know what his PB is? Uh, what his personal PB is and what his PB is uh, for this tournament? Uh, if anybody knows, put it in the chat. Uh, voice is back. Did I go out for a while? Was I gone? No. Yeah. Robot? No, no. Okay, alright. No, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was gone? Oh, no. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm back now. Okay, alright. Well, I didn't know that I was out. Okay, alright, but... Uh, Dirkshu's best time is above one hour, so I'd say he's going to finish better than that. Uh, meanwhile, we got Sloters down at the bottom. Uh, uh -huh. Man. Mm -hmm. And, oh, man, we good. we're good. So Dirkshu's getting out. Come on, get out, get out, buddy. Get out, buddy. Get out. No, no, no. Don't be messing up now. Don't be messing up now. Again, those nerves. Those nerves are getting him. He's thinking, am I ahead? Am I behind? Am I lose by one second? No. Get your GGs ready in chat. He's, I don't think he's going to mess up now. Get your GGs out. And we've got, uh, we've got a, an official SRL time of 51 minutes and 18 seconds. <sighs> oh, pretty amazing. That was awesome. Definitely, definitely awesome. So, hopefully we can get him in for an interview. See, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get him in, I'm gonna try to lure him in here for an interview. A race and beating Sloters, and again, it looks like he's gonna beat him by maybe a good five, six minutes. Um, now, Sloters being the perfectionist that he is, he's not just going to forfeit. He's going to finish this race, especially so close to the finish line. If we're lucky, maybe we can get uh, Dirk Su in. Uh huh. And this was a seven minute PB, at least according to SRL. Okay, game three. Ghost Wizard says he'll do game three. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so all right. Um, okay, so he says after match three. Okay. Meanwhile, Sloters is on Mother Brain. His ammunition situation. It really should be no, no problem. Rude to catch up already. Yeah, this really was a heck of a race. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dirk Sue, you were awesome. No, Sloters didn't die. Sloters just didn't check wrecked ship. Sloters went down and he checked Bubble Mountain instead of wrecked ship. And because you went wrecked ship way before him, you were just way ahead. Um, that's all there was to it. Sloters uh, did Bubble Mountain first. Uh, after that, mm, he was quite a ways behind, and by the time he got the two suits that were in wreck ship, you were way ahead. He also didn't find charge beam, and you finding charge beam meant that after you had those two suits, you were in go mode, where he was still looking for ammo because he never got charged. So those really are what made the difference. Uh, you were pretty far ahead. He's caught up a little bit because his Meridia was pretty fast, but um, you were, you really were awesome there, Dirk Sue. Um, 
and it, it really shows like the, the routing really makes a difference. And because you went wreck ship, that was the play. That was absolutely the play. Um, so it's not bad at all. Um, you had a great race, and is this? So let us know, Dirk Sue, you're in chat here. What, this was a PB um, by like seven minutes. A 558. Seven minute PB, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. And look, you finished in 5118. I mean, that's that was better than Sloters did last race. So I hope this gives you the confidence to beat Sloters in the next race. Now, you know, again, I'm the commentator, so I'm not allowed to officially root for anybody. But since Sloters can't hear me because he's still racing, we're all rooting for you. Not because we don't like Sloters, because we do, because he's awesome. But the reason why we're rooting for you is because Sloters is awesome. You know, so um, that was a great race. You did everything right. You really made no mistakes. Um, and Soldiers didn't make any mistakes either. He just routed it differently. Okay, so from J Chuck, I'm hearing that we've got match three happening after this. Now, holy cow. This means I'm going to have to commentate a match three, and I didn't even know I was doing commentary tonight. So, uh, let me know in chat, is, is everything all right with the microphone? I know we were having some microphone issues earlier. I think I got so excited that I uh, bumped my microphone and knocked the... Uh, I can't help it. I'm impartial. Well, I'm impartial, uh, you know, from the audience perspective. I want a good race. And Sloters did so well in that first race, I was afraid that Dirksu was going to get, like, demoralized. And instead, Dirksu comes out and runs a blindingly fast race. So maybe that was just the kick in the butt that he needed. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so Dirk Sue, did you think you were losing that uh, at any point? Did you think that, uh, you know, that Sloters was going to die done before you? Let us know, because uh, I kind of had the feeling that up until near the end, you did think so. Let's see if he gives us an answer in chat. Wow, he beat Sloters by more than five minutes. So Sloters finishes with an official SRL time of 56 minutes and 45 seconds. Again, normally that would be an amazing time that would beat 99% of runners, but he's not beating Dirk soon. Not today. Not with that time. No way, no how. Uh huh. So, wow, we. So I think we are going to get a game three. And it sounds like uh, we are not going to get an interview before game three. Uh, in which case, I'm guessing we're going to get set up and get started right away. So let me double check with Jay Chuck. So Jay Chuck, if you're listening, uh, let me know how soon do you want to run the next race? Just go ahead and put it in chat or the SRL window. Man, this was something else. Uh, that first race was just a just a show from Sloters, and now J Chuck comes out and says, "Nah, I'll show you a show," and he, he PBs by seven minutes. Oh, only twenty-seven percent items. Yeah, holy cow. Okay, so about five minutes. Okay, so since we're not gonna have interview. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off for about three, four minutes. I need to stretch my legs, I need to do some business. Um, and again, uh, just let me know in chat if, uh, during the race if we have any more microphone issues. Um, I believe I got so excited during that race that I knocked the, the, the cord out of my, of my microphone. So, yeah, wow, 27% is amazing. Um, but he got in go mode so early, like holy cow. You know, especially with that charge beam. Once you have that charge beam, that really lets you skip a lot of things. So, I'm going to sign off for about two or three minutes. And in about five minutes, we are going to have game three of the century.